Sit back and throw one back with your pinky in the air and a middle finger to the world. And join me, the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and the rest of the Gentleman Bastard Brigade as we look back on this day in pro wrestling history. But before we do, put that drink down, like, share, and subscribe. And without further ado, let's get our wrestling nerd on. We doggy! It is February 27th and we got a packed show for you guys today. But we're going to start off as we always do on a positive note. That's right. These are your pro wrestling birthdays. All the way back in 1888, Earl Caddick. 1933, Swede Hansen. 1945, Bill White. And 1977, Lance Archer. Of course, on the flip side of that coin, your pro wrestling deaths for February 27th. 1958, former world heavyweight champion Dean Denton passes away at the age of 49. Denton won the world title in a tournament final over Ed Strangler Lewis in 1936, which he held for nine months until losing it to Bronco Nagurski. 2014, England's greatest wrestler, Billy Robinson. All right, enough of the sad stuff. It's time to get to the meat and potatoes. That's right. These are your pro wrestling history highlights for February 27th. 1921, Pinky Gardner defeats Wayno Kenton for the world middleweight title in Boston, Massachusetts. 1940, Joe Cox defeats Yvonne Robert to win the Montreal world heavyweight title in Montreal, Quebec. 1958, sees Jim Hattie defeat Dick Torrey to win the Midwest Wrestling Association Junior Heavyweight title in Columbus, Ohio. 1962, Johnny Benard and Magnificent Maurice defeat Art and Stan Nielsen for the American Wrestling Alliance World Tag Team titles. 1964, the Fabulous Kangaroos defeat Eduardo Carpenter and Ernie Ladd to win the World Wrestling Association World Tag Team Titles. 1969, Johnny Long and Tojo Yamamoto win the Mid-American NWA World Tag Team Titles for the third time in Tennessee, defeating Don Carson and Len Rossi. 1970, Abdul the Butcher defeats Billy Robinson for the Stampede North American Heavyweight Title. 1973, Giant Baba finishes undefeated with two draws in a 10-match series to become the first holder of the All Japan Pro Wrestling Pacific Wrestling Federation World Heavyweight title in Tokyo, Japan. Baba faced Abdul the Butcher, Bobo Brazil, the Destroyer, Dick Bayer, Terry Funk, Don Leo Jonathan, Pat O'Connor, with two matches against both Bruno San Martino and Wilbur Snyder. That title lasted until 1989 when it was unified with the NWA International Heavyweight title and the NWA United National Heavyweight titles to create All Japan's Triple Crown. 1974. Danny Miller defeats Ole Anderson in a tournament final in North Carolina to become the first NWA Mid-Atlantic Television Champion beginning a lineage that would continue through Jim Crockett promotions and throughout the lifespan of World Championship Wrestling. 1975, the Royal Kangaroos defeat Dutch Savage and Jimmy Snuka for the NWA Pacific Northwest Tag Team Titles. 1976, Chavo and Gory Guerrero defeat Senior X and Carl Von Brunner to win the NWA America's Tag Team Titles. 1977, Fisherman wins the Mexican National Welterweight title for a third time, ending Blue Demon's second reign. 1980, John and Rick Davidson defeat Chris Adams and Tom Pritchard for the NWA America's Tag Team Titles. 1981, Gino Hernandez defeats Chavo Guerrero Classic, to win the NWA International Junior Heavyweight title. God, I, anybody have footage of that match? Because that match I want to see. 
1987, Tom Pritchard defeats Larry Hamilton to win the Southwest NWA United States Junior Heavyweight title in Knoxville, Tennessee. And last but not least, 1999, in a show in which I helped set up the ring at, <clears throat> the East Coast Wrestling Association held the third annual Super 8 tournament in St. Matthew's Parish Hall in Wilmington, Delaware. In the main event, Steve Bradley defeated Christopher Daniels to win the Super 8 tournament. Those were your pro wrestling history highlights for February 27th. I'm the eclectic gentleman, Stefan Watts, and we'll see you tomorrow.